Congressman repeatedly referencing his wife, Amy Wegman Radel, in his apologies. And Wegman is a former Fox 4 News anchor who campaigned for him very actively and publicly and was with him today when he checked into rehab in Naples. In a statement tonight, she says, quote, the outpouring of support from the community has been overwhelming. While this has been heartbreaking, I am proud to watch my husband, Trey, get the help he needs. When we married, we took vows to remain together in good times and bad, in sickness and health. And I know that brighter days are ahead for my husband, our family, and our beloved home of Southwest Florida. Radel's wife, Amy, noticeably absent as he gave an emotional press conference last night, but she was by his side today as he checked into rehab. Four in your corners, Kelly Stegeman. Continuing our team coverage tonight with a new glimpse into the life of the congressman's family. Kelly? That's right. I reached out to Amy today before she sent out that statement. Just eight months ago, our cameras rolled in the nation's capital as we got an inside look into the Radel family and how they operate in Washington, D.C. I then sat down with Amy, and during our interview, it was clear she's a big part of that support in Washington for Congressman Radel. And it appears in this video we've never shown you before that support isn't going to end. We're serving people. We're trying to get things done for them. Not so much me. Trey, but I'm part of that. You know, we're a unit. That unit of the Rado family held together in good times and in bad. The good captured by our cameras in April, a candid view of their life in Washington from their apartment now clouded in a cocaine controversy. Dada. Where's Dada? We're going to go visit Dada. To the office he's temporarily left behind. Hey, buddy. Hi. How are you doing? What about me? Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> On this day, like many others in Radel's congressional office, they squeeze in a lunch date. Don't, don't tell any of the dignitaries that you just spilled raviolis on your daddy's couch. Usually ambassadors sit here. <laughs> For Amy, it's the little things. I don't care what side you're on. I don't care what you believe in. At the end of the day, what I've really come to learn and notice is that everyone who's doing this, everyone who's an elected official, and I don't care on what level, it's truly a sacrifice. A sacrifice her son is also going through. What is it like being able to give those moments to your son? My daddy is making a difference in this world. He's trying to make a difference in this world. So for me, that's that's what it's all about. I want him to look at this video when he's older and say, wow, you know, I was part of that. I was part of something bigger. It doesn't come without those bumps in the road. For me, you know, obviously watching my husband follow his dreams is huge. Just, I remember the night he actually won the election and I'm thinking this is, it's just, it's, I get goosebumps thinking about it because I'm so proud of him. Wegman Radel saying she's now proud in a different way, proud in watching him get the help he needs to be strong, to come out as a better man. As you heard, Wegman Radel is asking for privacy for her and her family right now. In fact, tonight her Facebook page has been disabled. It's a big change for a public figure, news anchor, and a congressman's wife now moving for the moment out of the public eye. From the studio, Kelly Stegeman, Fox 4, in your corner.